in the neck emphasise the importance of truthful living. At Extinction Rebellion, we also value the truth greatly. It is our first key demand that the government be honest with the people about the dire situation we all face with the climate and ecological emergency. I think we all understand that whether it is the Modi government in India who are actively and openly attacking the media and free speech, or the Morrison government in Australia who are openly and actively attacking free speech, governments who are afraid of the truth are governments who have something to hide. And I think most of us understand that what these governments have to hide is they are not representing the best interests of the people. They are representing their political masters of the corporate world. Corporations, bloated and avaricious corporations like Adani, who want to take over the Indian farming sector to the detriment of the people, while also building toxic, life-destroying coal mines in Australia. We have much in common. This is the toxic system that knows no borders or boundaries. This is what we are all up against. And this is why, along with the iconic Greta Thunberg, Extinction Rebellion stands in solidarity with the Indian farmers. Your struggle is our struggle. And in unity, there is strength. So we vow to do what we can to support you in your struggle and we invite you to join us in March for our week of disruptive action. Because when injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty. And if there are no farmers, there is no food. Thank you. The Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation and sovereignty was never ceded. And I know that obviously India has uh, experienced colonization just like Australia has. And the thing is, it hasn't stopped, has it? But now what's happening is that corporations are the colonizers, are these powers that are doing things that are very unjust to regular people. We know who's behind this, this farmers' laws in India. It's Adani and it's Ambani. It's the corporate. It's the corporate powers, like all over the world, that are trying to take over our world because they are addicted to greed and addicted to money. And they will stop at nothing to get more. And that's why they... But you know what? I actually feel kind of sorry for the Modi government, right? Because they picked a fight with the Indian farmers. Why would you pick a fight with 53% of the population of the country? And you know what they say? First, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, and then you win. And it's very clear that they're trying very, very hard to fight the people right now. They've cut off the internet, they've cut off the electricity, they're trying to cut off the food supplies. They're shaming and blaming people all over the world who are tweeting, just drawing attention to this issue. The government is fighting very hard because they're very close to losing. Are they going to lose? Yeah. They are going to lose! Yeah. Because it's the people that have the power. The millions, hundreds of millions of people, all of us here, all of the people in India, we know what we have to do, we have to keep fighting and we are going to win. And it's these, and we have to just uh, keep coming out on the streets and doing everything we can because a lot of people in Australia don't know about this issue, as you know. It's not getting portrayed on the news. So we have to do what we can to keep talking to people. Keep to talk, talk to anybody you know, anybody you work with, let them know about this because people understand that this is a very unjust situation. And we are on the right side of history. It's the corporations are the bad guys here. Adani, Ndumbani, we cannot let them win and they are not going. There with your beautiful green flags and 
I just wanted to give you a chance to raise a bit of energy and have a bit of a chant together. So I hope you'll join me. I'm going to say, and then you repeat, and then uh, we'll have a good time. All right. <laughs> so, power to the people. People got the power. Tell me, can you hear us? Getting 